So in a surprise to basically no one, Kawhi Leonard had off-season surgery on his right knee. And according to ESPN, while the inflammation has gone down, the star forward will be held out of drills in next week's training camp to get him back to full strength. Clippers president Lawrence Frank was non-committal about Kawhi being ready for the season, saying, quote, I think that the timing's all going to basically depend on how his knee responds to each phase. No one has a crystal ball. Talk about an unfortunate way for the Clippers season to kind of end before it really begins. I mean, this just feels like it's an every year thing now. I don't know about you, but like, I like, is anyone, does anyone believe that Kawhi can stay healthy over the course of a season and a potential like finals run anymore? I like, I've, I'm fully off the boat. I was on the boat for, I think, longer than most people just because I believed in Kawhi's talents because we've seen him be the best player on a championship team. So I really believe like, hey, if he could just like stay healthy one more time, but like, it just like every year kept happening. And at a certain point, I mean, literally the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And with Kawhi at this point, he's 33 years old, another off season surgery. Like, it's just like, what, like, 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 like how am I supposed to believe that you can stay healthy over the course of an entire season playoff run? Even last year where like he remains healthy for a majority of the season. And like, you think like, oh, like could this year possibly be different? Like, he played 68 games last year, which is the most he's played in a very long time since he was a Spur, okay? Like, he plays 68 games, and, and so, like, you think, oh, maybe this year's different. And then he still misses most of the Clippers' playoffs. He played in games two and three against Dallas, didn't look so good, didn't play the rest of the series, and they lost to the Mavs. And so it's just like, how am I supposed to believe that anymore? And it's super deflating because we all know what this dude can do when healthy, even still at 33 years old, like he, I, I think if he were healthy, I think he could still firmly be in the conversation to be a top 10 player, but but that's just not gonna happen anymore. And it's super frustrating because it kind of kills the Clipper season before it even begins. And it really reinforces the idea of, or sort of my concern or confusion, I guess I could say of why they didn't re-sign Paul George, just from the standpoint of like, not necessarily that they, why they didn't re-sign Paul George, but it's just like, it feels like they, they had two directions they could go in. It's, okay, we could bring back Kawhi, PG, and James Harden, and, and just like, just try and see if, hey, we can get one healthy year, or we can blow it up and, and just like, you know, start from scratch, get some draft picks, and, and go from there. And it feels like they chose this weird middle ground where it's, okay, we're gonna bring back Kawhi, and we're gonna bring back James Harden, but we're not gonna bring back Paul George. Obviously, the timeline of those things wasn't exactly like that, I, like, I just, I, I don't, like, I don't get it. Because why are you going to bring back Kawhi and, and, and hamstring yourself to this injury-prone superstar, but then not try and do everything you can to maybe have the pieces around him? Like, the Clippers are worse. The Clippers are a worse team this year than they were last year. But but you still commit to the to the start. Like, I, like I don't get it. I don't get it at all. It makes no sense. I, and and I, I don't really know where they're going to go this year. I still think they're going to be... They, I think they're going to be like a bare minimum a playing team, presumably, assuming Kawhi plays some games and Harden stays relatively healthy. But I, I just don't understand what the end game is here. And and you, in fairness, you could have argued that the last few years with the Clippers, just because it felt like they were doing the same thing over and over again. But like to to give money to Kawhi and James Harden, but then to stop at Paul George, it's like, wait, don't are you trying to compete for a championship? Paul George might have been expensive. Two hundred plus million is expensive. I'm not going to lie especially for Paul George. He didn't necessarily deserve it after the playoffs he had last year, but I just like, I don't understand. If you're gonna, if you're gonna take that one step in by bringing back Kawhi and PG, uh, sorry, Kawhi and James Harden, why don't you do the second step and then bring in PG? I don't get it. But you know, from Kawhi's perspective, it's just, it's super unfortunate because we've all seen what this guy can do when healthy. Even last year, he looked really, really good in the games he played, but it's just, the fact that this is starting even before the season, granted, it, the surgery didn't just happen now. It just got announced now. You can't tell me he didn't get this surgery sometime in, over the off season earlier in the summer. But it's just for it to come out now, it just feels like a, a like, here we go. But like, not like a good here we go. It's it's a bad here we go. Like, you know, the, season, you know, the load management stuff and, and the limits, minutes restriction and, and all that stuff. It just feels like it's starting up again. And it's just super deflating, frustrating for the Clippers, but I think the worst part is that it's just not all that surprising anymore.